scavenging to marine predators because of the difficulty in observing. Thus, its significance may be underestimated. White sharks are the largest predatory fish in the ocean, reaching over two tons in weight. We know that as juveniles, they feed primarily on fish, but as they grow older, they expand their diet to also include marine mammals such as seals, dolphins, and whales. White sharks are renowned for their predatory behavior, reaching in the air to attack seals. However, relatively little is known about feeding on whales, especially scavenging. In our study, we observed on four occasions white sharks scavenging on whales in South Africa. We were lucky enough to see multiple sharks feeding on a whale carcass at the same time, including the same individuals, over several days. This permitted a great opportunity to gather new insights into the behaviors and social interactions among white sharks. Our team documented a wide range of strategic feeding behaviors. We were really surprised to notice that sharks showed an initial preference for feeding on the whale fluke before moving to the rest of the body. Less surprising, however, was that sharks showed a clear preference for the high blubber areas of the whale carcass. Sharks swim to the carcass very slowly and they mouthed different parts of the body before settling on their favorite blubber-rich spot, which they would repeatedly remove flesh from. The white sharks in the study also did not employ ocular rotation in their eyes, which is a protective strategy that they would normally use when feeding on live prey. Sharks would occasionally regurgitate large chunks of blubber from the whale, only to replace it with a separate, different piece of blubber. We hypothesize that these new sections may be more calorically rich. These data suggest that white sharks have a really strong idea of how to interpret and consume the carcass. This point is best exemplified when we observed a white shark strategically go into a carcass and pull out a near full term fetus from the whale. When white sharks are normally feeding on seals in False Bay, the average size of sharks we see is between 3 and 3.8 meters. However, when the whale carcass showed up, like in our study, it essentially rings a dinner bell for the local shark populations, and we actually saw a lot of sharks that were larger than the size we normally see. Normally you don't see congregations of these otherwise solitary and rare apex predators together, so this may be really significant for their life history. You would think that with all these large super predators on a small piece of food, you would have very aggressive behaviors, but we actually didn't see this at all. In fact, even when animals would bump into each other, they showed no sign of aggression. We also documented a clear size-based dominance hierarchy, also known as a pecking order for animals at the carcass. Taken together, I think all these results suggest that whales may be a really important food source for white sharks over four and even over five meters in length. And we hypothesize that adult sharks at these size classes may patrol False Bay and the coastline of South Africa for dead, dying, or weak whales. One of the ecological implications of this work is that when white sharks are scavenging on the whales, they cease hunting and feeding on the seals. This in turn affects the seals' behavior and they can then impact their prey by feeding more frequently and a larger amount. In addition, once the white sharks have stripped the whale of all its blubber, the whale then sinks to the bottom of the ocean and creates a food pulse for other consumers. Similar to foraging behavior, 